first question here. Do you have any views on the CAD dollar, Canadian dollar against the U.S. dollar? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the Canadian dollars um, had a very weak run or, you know, has been a real underperformer over the last year. Uh, you know, I think the key drivers there are, you know, interest rate, relative interest rates versus the U.S., and then really the commodity market. And then the third thing is really what, what happens with housing in Canada. And I think on the first point, um, which is relative interest rates, you know, it's, it's somewhat likely that the U.S. will raise, you know, maybe not meaningfully, but once or maybe twice, because it seems like they want to do a reset. Uh, if anything, the Canadian economy is getting worse. Um, so, you know, the likelihood there is that Canada actually cuts or becomes more dovish. So you have this, you know, you know the currency flows are going to chase the U.S. dollar and sell the Canadian dollar. That's yeah. kind of just, you know, natural trade that's going to happen. And then commodity prices, as you know, as our commodity analysts have you know, really gotten tattooed mm -hmm. um, down even more over the last week. Um, you know, oil and gas, or natural gas, with where they're at, big drivers of the Canadian economy. Uh, you know, we don't, you know, I think see any pickup in the short term, particularly for oil, um, especially with, you know, the sort of amount of supply that's come on lately. So, you know, that's going to hurt the economy, you know, be bad for the Canadian dollar. Uh, and then the last thing is, you know, sort of what hasn't happened yet, which is housing, you know, I think is, you know, we've talked about a lot, you know, one of our big short calls is on Canadian banks and, you know, a, a big driver there is just the bubbles and, you know, what we perceive as bubbles in two key markets, Toronto and uh, Vancouver, which comprise about 50% of the Canadian housing market. So I think that now you look at all that information, you know, it's hard to get excited about the Canadian yeah. dollar, even though it's come down so much. Yeah, yeah, no, people don't really talk about it that much either. Yeah. It's not like you, you see you see much written on it or talk. It's not really talked about, which is, if you're if you're looking to find a bubble, that's probably the place to do it. Yeah, exactly. No one's watching.